want to learn how to fix your blurry lines, well, I have the ultimate guide for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's the same thing I said when I decided to instruct a dancing class, but no one wanted to buy my classes. Hey guys, I'm about to buy Kyle Kai and Taylor back once again. Taking a look at how to do exactly what I said. Now, the first thing we're going to do is when we open up a new image, I'm going to hit new image up here, and this is what we need to figure out and fix initially, okay? So, essentially... Um, you're going to want to be drawing in a, in a much larger canvas because I've done this video before and I've had a lot of people still be kind of confused. So I want to be super clear. This size, the height and the width is basically how big your canvas is. So this little 800 and 800 here means this is going to be 800 pixels from left to right and 800 pixels up and down. So 800 sounds like it's a lot, but when you think about it, it's actually not a lot at all. Full HD nowadays, or regular full HD is 1920 by 1080, which means 1920 1, pixels left and right, and then up and down 1080 pixels, and that's only regular HD. We haven't even talked about 2K or 4K. All those numbers are super, super high. 800 is like... The quality of an 80s sitcom, that's what that, that you're drawing in the resolution of Family Matters on ABC. That's what that's what's happening right now. So you need to be drawing in a way, way bigger canvas. So I'm going to recommend, I, I don't recommend drawing in anything under at least 3,000 pixels. So we're going to do 3,000 for the height and the width. And then the resolution of the pixels per inch, which is like the PPI. This is kind of, this is super detailed to get into and I might do a separate video on this but um for now I always recommend I always say at, at least go like 300 I've seen people do like 600 and stuff you can do 600 as well but, but we're gonna do that and then hit uh create on that so now we have our 3000 by 3000 canvas it's looking really nice but then you come in here and you draw and you're like whoa look I'm drawing I'm drawing I'm drawing with the mouse of course for those a little weird but uh, you go in here wow I'm gonna draw a, a head and a smile wow my guy looks so happy what a cute little guy and then you zoom in and you go, whoa, look at that. That looks that looks kind of that looks kind of good because you know, usually when you zoom in, it gets blurry about right here. You know what I mean? So it's obviously way clearer, but I've seen a lot of people be confused about what this is as well. So they're like, okay, when I zoom in a lot, it gets it gets blurry. I think, oh, what are those edges there? This is what's called anti-aliasing. This is basically something that any brush or any program does to make things look nice and smooth. Now, let's say you were drawing in a super small canvas, you'd be able to see these edges like when you're just looking at the image normally, but when we zoom out, you can't see that at all. You know what I mean? Now, if I was to draw with a much smoother brush, which is what we're gonna get to now, if I'm drawing with a mouse, so it looks a little jagged, but if I was to put on brush smoothing up here in the tool options up here, I would put on a brush smoothing and I put it on like stabilizer. When I draw, obviously the line is way smoother than this one. So let's go no brush smoothing whatsoever. Let's uh, do that. And then I'll just draw a straight line. Boom. You see how like jagged it is, it has like a little, you know, some textures to it. But if I put on stabilizer and then draw the same line, whoa, look how smooth that is. Now, of course, if you're drawing with a pen or a tablet or something like that, it would be more smooth by default. But because I'm using my mouse, it's a little more jagged. But that's another tip for you to make things a little smoother if you were looking to do that. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is... I'm gonna put that back on basic by the, for now. Next thing I want to talk about is how to remove anti aliasing. So let's say you don't actually want this little smoothing thing that uh, programs do to make things look nice and uh, smooth and not jagged and stuff. So that's super easy. Go up here to the tool options up here in the brush settings or on the left hand side. And click this and then right here you see boom, boom, boom. We got this thing that says anti alias. Click that and then as you can see over here, once we close that out and then start drawing, you see oh my gosh. Uh, Wow, it's just as hard as the the final boss of Elden Ring. Look at that! Like, look, the edges are super hard. They're not they're not soft anymore, and now it looks more like pixel art. So, if you want to go ahead and draw pixel art, you absolutely could put this on one pixel, and then you can go ahead and draw some cool pixel art, which I wouldn't fully recommend in this specific program. You put it put brush smoothing on none, and then just you know you can go for it. I mean, you can. I mean, it would definitely be a little more strange to do because you know. It hasn't really the cursor doesn't really snap which i'm sure i think there is a way to make the cursor snap but um but yeah so that's how you remove that now the last thing i want to talk about is um i do want to i want to i want to show the difference between the resolutions here so if i if i draw on a brush that has a brush size of let's do 30 yeah leave it on 30 um oop, there we go um and put the anti-aliasing back on you can see when i draw like this um let's draw with the uh stabilizer one so if I, when i draw like this boom it looks really nice 
And if we zoom out, you can see how clear does that look? It looks so super clear, right? How nice does that look? It looks really, really, really cute. It's like, wow, look at that. It looks amazing. But if we were to draw the same exact thing in a canvas that is, again, let's do 500. Um, let's do 500 height and width. If I were to draw that same thing here, you can see it doesn't really look the same. Obviously, everything's way, way bigger because my brush size is on 30. And as you can see, even in this, you can see like the weird edges. Like if you zoom in here, which I'll probably do manually in the video, I, I'll, I'll zoom, I'll zoom the uh, actual image so you can see. It doesn't look the best. But if I was to show you this, the same size, like it, it looks way, way better here because it's, you know, there's more pixels here. Everything's great. But if you wanted these lines to be thicker, you would just up the brush size instead of like, instead of, you know, you just up, make the brush size bigger and then just do this instead of making the canvas smaller. The canvas has to be big. So the quality is nice. But if you want the lines to be bigger, you can just make them bigger instead of having it be like this, because obviously this looks way better than than this. That is it for today's video. I do hope you learned something new today. Um, again, if you want to turn this uh, anti-aliasing off, just go ahead and do that. And then you have those nice sharp edges like that. So I hope you learned something new today. I hope this covered something that the last video didn't cover. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down below. And I'll try to help out any way that I can. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, but until then, bye-bye.